Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Art Critic. Uh, from my page, Life is Art and Art is Life. Um, we're looking at a very interesting piece here. It almost looks like uh, something that could be standard um, decoration for like at a Home Depot or a Lowe's when we think about types of um, decorations. But let's not jump the gun too quickly. As you can notice, um, a little bit of imperfection in the grays and the blacks that we see. Um, even the lines, yet, yet we see perfection and imperfection. Um, we see what looks to be kind of simple. Um, let's go ahead and uh, zoom a little bit out just to make sure we fully grasp what we're looking at here. Uh, two squares with two X's in the middle. Um, kind of reminiscent of tic-tac-toe boxes. The author uh, here is named uh, Craig Lucas. It's a 1974 painting, dry pigment in water on uh, canvas. And it's untitled. Um, an untitled piece of artwork. So you, there you go. I mean, that's more, you know, a lot of room for sub, uh, subjective uh, analysis of this. Um, other people would say it's just so broad. How can you analyze um, what it means, but that's the whole point. It's subjective, right? So it's not completely a logical deduction, even on my part, as what this piece of artwork represents. Um, but in some ways, it looks like it, it on the out, uh, on, on the first take, you might look at it and see perfection. I don't know, uh, let, let's say a yes or no, perfection or imperfection. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, initially, I looked at it with a sense of seeing perfection because the lines are so straight and, you know, they're exactly 90 degrees and anti-parallel and everything looks coordinated. You know, the, the gray square and the dark black square look equally uh, sized. The X's look uniform. They're straight lines. But then you take a little closer look at it and you see some imperfections in the coloring. Um, you know, you see it's not really quite black, and that's not really quite completely gray. Um, and yet, on the outside, you see perfection in, in, in the outline. And that's kind of interesting to think about, the, the outline of perfection that society often uses to cover up a whole lot of really bad things uh, that aren't perfect. And um, again, I'm really delving into something that's totally subjective. Another person might not see that at all. You could even see the Mason sign in there, right? The compass and square. Well, uh, you, so you can get a little bit of that from this. Um, and an XX, uh, literally, one could call this 20 <laughs> um, Roman numerals. Uh, maybe it, it's untitled, let me call it the 20 Exposé. Um, but uh, unique piece here. Glad I've got a chance to uh, bring it up to you. Also, you'll notice how the strips are, um, even the strips in some ways upon closer look, aren't completely perfected. It's not one solid gray that goes through the black box. And it's not one solid black line that goes through the gray box. And even what looks to be white, it, it kind of looks jagged when you get up close to it. But that's fine. It's a painting on canvas. Um, and this is the art critic. Um, glad you tuned in. And make your own judgments about what it all means. And until next time, when we review another piece of work, Stay well. Bye-bye.